Hello everyone, I'm Chris from Mythicos Studios. You may know me from our Mythicos Plays, A Song of Ice and Fire Thursday streams. Here at Mythicos, we're creating a wide variety of content for you to increase your knowledge and effectiveness on the table with Simon's A Song of Ice and Fire, the miniatures game. Today we'll be starting a brand new series of videos looking at five effective tactical combos to utilize in casual or competitive play. First, we'll be looking at my personal favorite faction, Stark. Let's take a look at Stark, the offensive and movement based faction, in 1.51 and see what they have to offer. Coming in at number 5, Swift Advance plus Kranig Mint Trackers with Kranig Mint Warden. This combination is great for new players and veterans alike. By only hitting on 4s and with short range, Kranogs may seem like a cheap filler unit. But when paired with their order, quick fire, and a free maneuver from Swift Advance, you can easily pepper an opponent with 16 dice hitting on 4s. The Kranach Warden allows you to make the most of your harassing unit, with rerolls if the target opponent has not activated yet. Even rolling average will have you placing more hits into the opponent than they can shrug off. Coming in at number 4, House Tully Sworn Shields plus Brendan Tully Unyielding Knight. The Stark's premier defensive unit boasts an impressive package for 6 points. Not only does it have a 3 plus defense save, but also boasts a better than average 6 plus morale. Their order also allows them to block D3 hits when being attacked from the front arc. Adding Brendan Tully, Unyielding Knight, for two extra points to this mix can create an all-around formidable combat unit. While not only giving plus two morale to make them a staggering four, when starting the turn engage, Brendan will give Sworn Shields plus one to hit and plus two attack dice, making them hit way above their weight class. While the shields are slow, adding cards like Swift Advance, taking the Maneuver Zone, or using the Aria NCU ability, Stark has the tools to get this combo into position. If you need a defensive anchor to really hold points in objective-based game modes, this pair is perfect for you. Coming in at number 3, Stark Bowman plus Roderick, Master at Arms. It's no secret that Roderick, Master at Arms, is the hot new commander in the Stark scene in 1.51. Roderick's cards and Bowman's impressive 8 attack dice at both full and 2 ranks make him a pleasant fit for this unit. Not only can you make your opponent vulnerable on any friendly turn using Roderick's order, but it innately provides a sort of vulnerable to trigger Roderick cards at will. Want crit blow on 5s with 8 attack dice on a vulnerable opponent while being at long range away? It's possible with this combo. Not only does Roderick provide ability shutoff for your army, but also gives Bowman an elite punch at range to really hold the line. And let's not forget, if your opponent fails their panic test, they become weakened and lose their orders for the round. Coming in at number 2, Serio Pharrell plus Sworn Swords. This combination provides an elite quality unit for point filling in many lists. With Sansa receiving a change in 1.51, Personally, I hope that Stark players consider leaving her at home and utilizing Arya more. That being said, when taking Arya, Sirio provides a great place to start rounding out your list when placed in Sworn Swords. While not only providing the order Bravosi Water Dance, which makes enemy combat units have minus one to hit on Sirio's combat unit, he also innately synergizes with Sworn Swords attack ability Stark Fury. Crit Blow plus Precision is an absolutely deadly combination and when paired with cards like Devastating Impact or getting a flank charge can absolutely blow up any elite defensive unit. Coming in at number 1, Sudden Charge on the Maneuver Zone plus Devastating Impact plus Tully Cavaliers. Sudden Charge is arguably the best card Stark players have in their toolset. Providing a zone replacement to give a combat unit a free charge, Sudden Charge synergizes very well with Devastating Impact when using Sudden Charge to replace the Maneuver Zone. Not only does Controlling Maneuver Zone provide a vulnerable token with Sudden Charge, but also upgrades Devastating Impact to plus two wounds instead of plus two automatic hits, as well as automatically rolling a six on the charge. This effectively brings your threat range on a free charge to 11 inches with Tully Cab, and we haven't even mentioned the abilities of the unit itself. Paired with already hitting your target for two automatic wounds, Tully Cav have 9 dice with Sundering and Crit Blow on their charge, making this combination able to pour out some of the highest hit damage calculations in the entire game. While needing a bit of setup, this combination can turn the tide of a game or start a snowballing effect, making it a must-know for an army using Tully Cav. 
There you have it, folks. In no particular order, five of the most effective tactical combinations Starks have to utilize in 1.51. Now, this video doesn't take into consideration neutral units, as there are plenty more combinations, cards, and commanders to explore yourself. But, we hope this video provides a nice little start to your journey in A Song of Ice and Fire the Miniatures game. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel, as well as catching us live every Thursday night at 7 p.m. EST at twitch.tv slash mythicos underscore studios. And make sure to drop a comment below the video and tell us what your favorite Stark combinations are.